Ben 10, Galactic Racing. Would you looky there? Ain't that a sight? Tends to make one feel kind of small and insignificant like. What with the vastness and grandeur of the universe and all. Yeah, tell him about the legend, Octagon. I was just getting to that presently, Boyd. Now, I don't know about y'all, but my brother Hromboid here and I have heard tell of a legend. Uh-huh. We heard it from this guy who heard it from his cousin who used to live next door to this other guy. Be that as it may, we have it from a very reliable source that the Galvin... Who is just about the smartest folks ever. Oh, heck, Hromboid, do you want to tell this story? Well, okay. <laughs> Legend has it that one of the Galvan created a whole planet all by himself called Primus. Now, what runs low on juice from time to time on account of it's really some kind of giant machine or some such? Preposterous tale, if you ask me. Sure is pretty, though. Ooh, what are them there beam thingies? They is for pulling the moons of a planet into a new orbit, like so. And when the moons of Primus in particular is in just the right position, what you might call the sweet spot. <laughs> Kick the dog and spit in the fire. Go on. The planet gets all charged up a fight again. It's quite the green energy initiative, actually. Now, every time the big planetary recharge happens on Primus, Supposedly, the Galvans set up a bunch of racetracks on worlds all over the known universe and that's so, to celebrate with a galaxy-wide Grand Prix. Uh, w hold on there. That, that don't sound like something the Galvan would do, Octagon. Who's telling this story? You or me? I thought I was. No. Now, where was I? Oh, legend has it that whenever this here Grand Prix is held, the Galvin only allow the best racers in the galaxy to participate in this most prestigious of occasions. It's a winner take all, knock down, drag out, high speed showdown, the likes of which one is unlikely to ever see again in one's lifetime. In go karts. So the legend goes. Ooh, that sure is a mighty fine story, Octagon. If only there was some way for you and I to partake in said improbable event. Funny you should ask. Howdy! I'm Octagon Greedle, your commentator type person. This here's my brother, Ron Boyd. Call me Boyd. The event to which we were so wistfully referring before just happens to be about to take place right now. Well, don't that be all. Boy, and I'll be right here with you through the whole shebang. So sit back, kick off your gravity boots, and get ready for some galactic racing! Here we are at Blizzard Ridge, starting point for the beginner's luck circuit. This here is the ice planet Kilmus. Necrophrygians like Big Chill call this place home. Personally, I find its climatory landscape to be a mite inhospitable. Besides Kilmus, this circuit will also take us to the water world of Pisces and the garbage dump of the universe, Vulpin. Hey, <laughs> remember when we was going to repo that ship on Vulpin and I found that perfectly good pair of underwear just a floating in the sludge? Boyd. I'm wearing them right now. Can you believe the things people throw away? Boyd, do you recall us conversating recently about your lack of focus and its tendency to distract from the task at hand? Ooh, look, shiny object. Here I go over here now. As I was saying, 
Blizzard Ridge is so named on account of this here ridge, where the wind and snow could send racers flying off into the chasm. And if and the folks make it past the blizzard, they'll drive forthwith into this here cave, where these so-called... I think you mean pointy ice thingies. Stalactites are precipitating every which away all over the road. It is surely gonna take some adroit driving skills to get past those bad boys. Three, two, one, go! Let me tell you something, car guy! No pass from! See ya! We got the semi later! <laughs> Someone done gone and went open. This should be exceedingly entertaining. It would appear someone new is in the lead. If you ain't the leader, the view never changes. Somebody news are late in the past. But it just went off nice of me. Now, here's a picturesque you planet. Look at all them oceans, Octagon. I'd rather not, Boyd. I'm a suffering from a touch of the... ...kinetosis. Well, I don't know. Your breath don't smell no worse than usual. Say sickness, dang it. Just get us through this thing. Oh, oh, so the race can start. If and you say so. First, they's a racing through some turns that go up and down and around. Boy. And then, their racers is gonna go over a bootsy jump and get way up yonder high where they can see them rolling waves a-tossing and a-turning. Wrong, boy. Then, they's are gonna come a-whipping around and whoosh! Right over another one of them a-whoopsie-daisy jumps. Boy! And then, it's into the final turn, where the water's just a-flowing in them slidey boosts that rock back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> Fine. If and that's the way y'all feels about my narrative type skills, Octagon, you just go and do it yourself next time. Three, two, one, go! Come back here! That's 
Hold, man! Well, he ain't a leading no more! Ugh. Swamp Fire has got his ultimate on. And that boy is really hitting the gas. Folks might be wanting to take some precautionary measures right about now on account of someone done switched on their ultimate power. I'll do better next time. Annoying, but colorful. Them there piles of decaying detritus mean we find ourselves on the planet Volpin. This place is a dump for every type of nastiness imaginable and then some. Vulpamancers like wild mutt come from hereabouts. No accounting for taste. I find the smell to be somewhat distressing on one's nasal cavities. Oh, so that's what that is. <laughs> I know them beans we had for lunch ain't a sitting well with you, so... Boy, that would fall under the category of what you might call too much information. Anyhow, Vulpin is also home to a little track we call Toxic Tunnels. Shortly after the start, there's a mighty tricky crisscross with jumps that make racers pass each other in midair. And they continue crisscrossing until they come back together after a big old clover leaf. When everybody's back on the same track again, they all jump into one of them sludge holding facilities. Jumping over sludge could make for some good old smash-ups, ain't that right, Octagon? Indeed, Boyd, indeed. Now after that, it's one more ginormous jump, and then smooth sailing. Until the next lap starts, anyway. You have anything to add, Boyd? Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> About them beans. Let's just start the race, Boyd. Three, two, one. He has, as you might say, overtaken the competition. Make our vehicle do that, Octagon. Back off! Quit it!
I suspect Big Chill is nigh about ready to give a whole bunch of racers the cold shoulder. We have a new leader. First place is indeed something yeah. one does aspire to in a race. Later. Look out! Ultimate aliens are coming through! That's gonna hurt, I expect. Every time. Hey, top three isn't bad. Howdy folks, and welcome to Frozen Freeway, the first track in the circuit that folks around these parts call Freezeway Jungle. Do you reckon they calls it that on account of Kill Miss being a tad bit on the bone chillingly cold side? I do reckon that is correct, Boyd. But this circuit will take us yonder to the null void and Primus too. Oh, well that's good, cause prison dimensions and jungles with mechanical mosquitoes as big as your head is so much better. You through complaining so I can resume commentating? Not yet. Okay, now I'm through. Good. So, trickiest part of this go-round is these here ramp jump doohickeys. Hitting that there trigger makes them go up and down, and if you hit one whilst it's up, you get yourself to the shortcut. But if and some folk goes and hits the trigger while you're jumping, well, let's just say the outcome will be less than serendipitous, what with the perilous drop to your doom and all. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Later. Hey, what planet can you license? Somebody mews in front. He done blowed him away real good. Seems first place does smile occasionally on the speed of gotcha. your car.
someone just lost their lead. Such is the fleeting nature Bless of all the things. Stuff. Gotcha. It would appear someone new is in the lead. If you ain't the leader, the view never changes. Every time. Hey, chill! The Null Void. A dimension created by the Galvin to be a big old prison. This place is home to the kind of unpleasant folks that'd make even the likes of you and me, boy, call for help from the plumbers. Or they can call for help from us, should we ever graduate from the Plumber Academy. True enough. Stranger things have come to pass. Now, what y'all might not know is the Null Void is also home to some of the preeminent racetracks in the galaxy, including this one here, Drill Base Drag. The track is sometimes force field, sometimes asteroid, and all the times arduous to cling to. Yeah, it's also real hard to stay on. Once the racers get themselves to D-Void's Drill Base, they got to make a crucial decision either go left and stay safe, or break right and take the shorter but much more inclined to cause your demise route. In the end, there's a lot of jumping and just try not to fall off until the very last jump drops all the racers right at what is known in the nomenclature as the finish line. Eyes are my disappointed they doesn't just blow up real good when they fall. Truer words were never spoken, Boyd, but sometimes falling into an endless void must suffice. Let's get it started. Three, two, one, go! Ultimate time for ultimate humongous or Folks might just want to bundle up some. Big Till just switched on his ultimate power. Boy, is surely hot enough behind there at Cluster. <laughs> Glad I am. <laughs> 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 
I was robbed! Welcome to Primus once again, where the participants are about to circumnavigate the course known as Jungle Run. Now, some folks have been speculating that Primus is the fabled home of the Coden Stream, from whence Ben Tennyson's Ultimatrix gets its DNA to turn him into alien creatures and what have you. Ah, now, I gotta tell you, I find that mighty hard to believe. As do I, poet. Some folks will believe anything, but they ain't educated like us. Now, the racers is gonna traverse into the tunnels near the volcano. Inside, they can stick the main road or take a more dangerous shortcut to the left, where they run the risk of encountering said fabled codon stream up close and personal like. By which you mean get stuck in? I do indeed. When they gets into the jungle, it's a pretty straight shot right on back to the start. Listen, you count them snappy plants and them giant mechanical mosquito things what's a shooting up the track. Well, yes, those could be your might hazardous, I expect. Three, two, one, go! Hey, what planet gave you a license? Hey, looks like somebody you are leading the pack. Keep my There's a new fella in the lead. Now uh, that there was exceedingly nasty. I like it! This is Very astute using that there shortcut. It's what's commonly referred to as shortcut. Race me, and you're gonna get burned! We are here presently 
at the start of the Wet Wasteland Circuit. And this time, we gets to go to Vulpin and the Null Void too. That's right, Void. Incineration and incarceration is in our future. Not the first time. <laughs> but for now, we're on Pisces at the aptly named Pisces Falls Track. That there tidalization comes from waterfalls like these here. And steering through them is indeed a challenge. Then there's some more flowing water and a crazy curve what gives you a great view of the ocean. Would you look at there? Not that that would appeal to you, Octagon, what with your weak stomach and all. Woo. Then it's open road and a couple more waterfalls leading up to one heck of a gut-busting jump to the finish. I got some feeling this race is gonna be a fun one to watch, boy. Three, two, one, go! Well, he ain't a leading no more! Hey, what planet you do? Ultimate Humongosaur plus Ultimate Power might be construed by some as what you call overcompensation. Not cool! Now that there was exceedingly nasty. I likes it. When he's all charged up, ultimate cannon bolt is what you might call a roll mark. On account of he can roll it all. Ultimate Omni Node. Woo, man, oh, that sure is a sight to behold. Be. This is a stick-up! Woo! Somebody done gone ultimate, and they is coming up fast! No tour of Vulpin would be complete without a trip through the waste processing plants. Actually, no tour of Vulpin doesn't include garbage of some fashion. Garbage gauntlet lets the racers get close enough to smell it. It is a mighty difference. Just round from the start, 
the racers get introduced to the garbage mover system. They got to dodge all the junk that's teleporting in from the other junk movers on the planet while driving against the belt. Then, oh boy, you gotta check this one out. Oh, I know, I know. Then there's this big crane, see? And they can hit the switch and boom, baby! Off go the other racers right over the edge. Hee <laughs> Blow it up real good. You seem to get a great deal of pleasure out of other folks' pain, Boyd. <laughs> Is that wrong? Three, two, one, go! Hey, looks like somebody new's a late in the pack. in front. He done blowed him away real good. Overtaking the competition. Hot dang! I do love it when somebody uses that ultimate Omni. Watch this. Racing in the null void has what you might call its ups and downs. And that is never more true than on this here track. Dimension Dementia. The racers is making waves right from the start when they go through these bumpy bits. Around the next corner, it's up to the sideways asteroid and back down again. Oh, <laughs> I just got your up and down joke octagon. <laughs> Cause the track goes up and down. I is smart. I'm pleased that my clever play on words did not go unnoticed, but boy, I'm afraid the joke is on the racers this time. On account of while they still all disorientated, the boosted jump dropped from smack dab in the middle of some of them null guardians. Whoo, that's gonna be some fireworks, that is. And then up comes another twisty section to turn them all about before they take that final jump to the finish. Oh, I tell you, boy, the no boy ain't for no sissies. Three, two, one, go! Hey! That's what these here cart races need, Octagon. More stuff blowing up real good.
We gotta make our vehicle do that, Octagon! Very astute using that there shortcut. It's what's commonly referred to as shoulder. Boy, I do surmise that's Ooh. gonna leave a mark. Roads, big chills done charged you and ready on the web. <laughs> <That's cold. laughs> See ya. Ultimate Humongosaur sure done has some impressive offensive power. How you supposing he fits into the Kevin's ultimate is a winding up. Boy, howdy, he is a fast one. Howdy, <laughs> monkey is charged up. Ooh, spider, monkey, you reckon he prefers flies or bananas?
No Primes a Circuit, and it all starts here on a Primus track called Galvin Gorge, named after the famous clothier Galvin Klein. Not to impugn your inestimable knowledge of fashion, Boyd, but this air track named after the Galvin aliens from the planet Galvin Prime. Really? Whoa. What kind of clothes do they make? Boyd, when this is over, we needs to have us a long talk. Okay. But right now, we got us a race to commentate, son. So, after driving through the cave a bit, the racers jump a chasm and make themselves a hard left into a split where they can take the high road or, if they're quick on the trigger, a moderately lower one. They's gonna take a bunch of jumps across some codon streams. Which is none too pleasant to swim in, or so I've heard tell. And through the codon flow tubes to the central pumping station, where fans is ready to knock the spit out of any racers cursed with what you call less than optimal timing. Ooh-wee, it's gonna be a humdinger. Let's get her started. Three, two, one, go! Not yet, Boyd, not yet. I said go. Boyd. Go! Oh, he's just a tad bit excitable. Pay him no mind. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Mary A. Stoop is not their shortcut. It's what's commonly referred to as shorter. You know, when Ultimate Cannon Bolt is powered up like that, don't it kind of make the cart redundant? To make the cart make it slower! Cuts is always short and long cuts. Ouch. Woo! Somebody done gone ultimate, and they is coming up fast. Looks like somebody down found himself a shortcut. In a hurry. You're gonna regret that. Now that there was exceedingly nasty. I like it. Here we are on Kilmas again, folks. This here track is called Tidal Tundra. Tell them about it, Boyd. 
I'd be happy to, Octagon. Well, seems this place weren't always the frozen armpit of the universe such as it is now. Would you believe it was once a paradise all tropical-like? That is, in fact, an accurate statement. All the tracks here are laid down right smack on top of a frozen ocean that taint exactly what you'd call stable. There's some jumping and twisting right at the start, but that's the easy portion of what is otherwise dubious terrain. Now, this here part would appear to be a mite more tricky. Indeed it does, Boyd. The racing contingent must time their passage across these plates judiciously. When they get across, racers drive right smack up the face of a frozen wave and then down through some twisted turning parts to get their cells back from whence they started. This'll be a fun one to watch, I reckon. Three, two, one, go! Yes, he has, as you might say, overtaken the competition. <laughs> Wanna know something? You're really, really wow! Nice! It would appear someone new is in the lead. If you ain't the leader, the view never changes. Hey, wait! Oh man, that sure is a sight to behold! Plum powered up! Now, what are the chances of a fella named Fast Track being able to run so darn fast? I for one am yeah. not playing. That's what these here cart races need, Octagon. More stuff blowing up real good. Big Chill's ultimate power is on. You know, I sure could go for a snow cone right about now. Let's roll! I'm down. Next Here we are back on Pisces at a track heretofore known as the Agitator. Which, coincidentally, was Octagon's nickname during our time at the Plumber's Academy. 
What if I told you about non-sequiturs, boy? That, uh, I, I don't know what that means. That is correct. Yes. The racers head right for the underwater sections from the start, sweeping through tubes that, if they done broke, would make for a bunch of what you might call drowned participants. The track gets its appellation from these filtration agitators that, what with the water moving and all, make for a truly challenging driving experience. After surviving that predicament, it's back up topside whence the racers sweep through a wide bank with a couple of tricky waterfalls before heading right back on to where it all started. Three, two, one, oh, Oh, Not so bad. Lost their lead. Such is the fleeting nature of all things. God oh, help me! Hear that? Ultimate Echo Echo just done activated up his ultimate power. Hear that? Ultimate Echo Echo just done activated up his ultimate power! You know, when Ultimate Cannonball is powered up like that, don't it kind of make the cart redundant? I was really on the ball! Here's one for you, Boyd. What flings you inside a volcano, drags you through piles of garbage, and leads you to fend for yourself in the icy cold reaches of a hostile spatial dimension? Uh, 
Darla, my date to the fifth grade dance? I remember her. But I was talking about our next circuit. It's called Volcano Void. And we hear the first track, Codon Caldera. Woo, this one's a doozy right from the start. When the racers go a jumping straight through the side of the volcano. Yeehaw! There's a road in there, by the slimmest of definitions, but it's what you might call a tad unstable. Chunks is always breaking off it when racers drop across. That coat on down below ought to blow up them real good. If they makes it out the other side, it's down the hill and through the coat on tubes. And then it's back to the jungle where some of them plants and giant mosquito thingamabobs is blocking the way to the end. Three, two, one, go! All right! Out of my way! See ya! Seems first place does smile occasionally on the this speedy of cars. Don't do that! Bingo! Oh, right. If I had a dollar for every time that happened to one of us. Do that octagon. <laughs> Fast track is fully charged. I reckon the field will be what you might call blown away in short order. When he's off charged up, Ultimate Cannon Bolt is what you might call a roll model. On account of he can roll and all. <laughs> Kevin's ultimate is a winding up. Boy, how do you get Races out there is about to regret that Rat's mama never had him declawed. Well, he ain't a leading no more. Rubble Ramble would be accurately descriptive of any perambulation around this here planet, but it's also the name of this particular track. 
It don't take long to get to the first sludge holding tank. There are a lot of them on this planet, plenty of sludge to hold. And trust me, you do not want to miss a jump and fall in. Ooh, don't I know it, brother. But it seemed like a good way to cool off a trifle. Pay you. Not to worry. They drain these sludge tubes for the race, mostly. <laughs> yeah, you still have to drive through some, avoiding trash as you go. Then just past the sludge zone, there's some garbage movers to navigate. Then past the conveyor type belt, it's an all-out sprint right on back to the finish. Ready, boy? Mm-hmm. Let's get this race a going. Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> Woo! We gotta make our vehicle do that, Octagon! Watch it, watch it, Hex! Ultimate aliens are coming through! The ultimate humongousaur is what you might call, get ready for it, diminutively challenged. And his attack is all charged up too. Time for ultimate humongousaur! Alright! Charged and ready to attack. Folks, them apoplexian claws ain't just for liberating cat food from the can. They is what you might call multi-function. Time to blow! I feel the need for speed! The thing about the Null Void is that it is most assuredly a twisted and dangerous place. And this trap they call Null Avoidance is a clear substantiation of my point. No sooner do the racers leave the start than BANG! 
Upside down. Now that's just plain disorientating. Do tell. And then, before they gets used to the upside being down, the track gets all twistified. Then there's a jump, which is an amusing way to pass the time, I must admit. But then they gets to this travesty of an asteroid what's shot full of holes. I suspect many a racer has fallen and gone flying right into space through them holes. Woo! I for one cannot wait to see that eventuality. Well, you won't have to wait for long, Boyd, cause here we go right presently. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Bye. That's what these here cart races need, Octagon. More stuff blowing up real good. That there's what you might call painful. We have a new leader. First place is indeed something one does aspire to oh, in a race. Really? Now? I do love it when somebody Do uses it. that ultimate on the boxes. Now you see right there, that boy is what is known in the vernacular as going Well, here we are back on Kilmus for the start of the circuit folks call Ice Water Expanse. We's going to Wet World and Trash World too on this course. Or Pisces and Vulpin, as those two planets' indigenous life forms do tend to prefer. There are most certainly some long jumps at the start, and then the precipitation rears its ugly head, pelting folks with unseasonably blizzard-like conditions. 
after that, it's into another one of them unstable stalactite caves. And then, straight through this here teleporter apparatus, what'll take them back up to the start? Three, two, one! Oh, all right! Quit it! Later! Somebody knew his luck! He done blowed him away real good! That there's one convenient shortcut, ain't it, Octagon? Watch it, watch your head! Not so fast! This fast track is well powered up! Human. Now, what are the chances of a fella named Fast Track being able to run so darn fast? I, for one, am perplexed. Now that there was exceedingly nasty. I like it. Back here. That sort got to getting some use. What these here cart races need, Octicon. More stuff blowing up real good. That there right. spider monkey go! He is cutting a lap short, using what is known in the nomenclature as a shortcut. This track is called Wave Runner, and it's the epitome of Piscean engineering prowess. Yeah, buddy. You don't know what I'm saying, do you, boy? You're just humoring me by saying, yeah, buddy, ain't you? Yeah, buddy. All right, then. I am appeased. This here track has some interesting and devious features, like a double trigger section where the racers can what is known in the parlance as grief each other by switching what airlocks open. And these here jumps land you right smack in the H2O <laughs> if and you don't stick to the sides. But the real kick in the pants, for those who have pants, is the wave generating device in this here tunnel. Their sections is constantly in motion, so folks got to stay on their toes to steer a successful course. My driving instructor specifically said for me not to steer with my toes no more, Octagon, no matter how good at it I was. 
That was just what you call a figure of speech, boy. No, I think he meant it. Toby don't tell no lies. Three, two, one. We gotta make our vehicle do that, Octagon! <laughs> hey! Seems first place does smile occasionally on the speedy of car. Passing, passing. All right. That's going to hurt, I expect. Someone done gone and went over. Oh, this should be that. exceedingly entertaining. Now that there was exceedingly nasty. I like it. Hey! Fast track is fully charged. I reckon the field will be what you might call blown away in short order. Here, cart races need oxygen. Oh, More so stuff blowing up real good. I can't drive. Fifty-five. <laughs> like the name says. Apparently, there's more than Vulpamancers living here on Vulpin, and folks is about to find out exactly what. On account of these living right here on the track we call Trashy Twist, after a few twists and turns of the parabolic variety, the road takes you right into Serpent Junction. Vulpin Serpents, whoo! Now there's something that'll put you in a tailspin. They do make one doozy of a challenge. And all the paths are guarded, so they're all dangerous. This here crane is powerful dangerous, too. If that hits, folks, they'll be a smacked around real good. The last stretch before our worthy competitors push on to the finish line is this twisted turny pot thingamabob. There's two to pick from, and you can bet there'll be wrecks galore. I do love me some good wreckage. Let's get started so we can get with the wrecking. Yeehaw! 
three, two, one, go! All right! Yikes! This time, red means go! Looks like somebody new's a late in the pack. Fire's done gone all ultimate. Alright. Somebody's taking a short way rank. Ultimate activate. Ain't nothing standing in his way now, I reckon. Later! Let me tell you something, Cockeye! No apostle! Ow! Whoa! Oh, we right. gotta make our vehicle do that, Octagon! It would appear someone new is in the lead. If you ain't the leader, the view never changes. Ultimate Omni Node. Oh man, that sure is a sight to behold.
This here is the Infinity Circuit, the penultimate perambulation in our pan-galactic racing soiree. The who with the what now? Oh, Rombo, at the next to last circuit in the game. Ah, you see, that's what I thought you meant. We're gonna get out the Kilness and the Null Void a little later. But first, we's gonna do a little turn around a Primus track called Coat on Climb. Starting in this here underground cave, the racers will slither their way up through a bunch of crisscross paths and then head on out to the surface. And then they go over a big old cray bassy and then round a bunch of codon geezers. Geysers. That's what I said. And then bingo, they is back from whence they started. Sounds easy, but it's just a warm up for what's a coming up in the rest of the circuit. Well, if they ain't no geezers, then how come we's playing bingo? Oh, boy. Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> Cart races need Octagon. More stuff blowing up real good. <laughs> Someone done gone and went ultimate. This should be exceedingly entertaining. Ah. Woo! Somebody done gone ultimate, yeah. and they is coming up fast. I'll just shake off your attacks. Here we are, folks, at the biggest, baddest track on all of Kilmus, necro Valley. Now, I don't know how, but them necro actually live in this place. Man, they got cities and everything, and they're a-flying all over willy-nilly like the cold don't even bother them none. <laughs> Aliens is so strange, huh, Octagon? An acute observation, Boyd. Oh, I think you're cute too, Octagon. Never mind. We's gonna start off in the mountains with quite a numerous contingent of twists, turns, and jumps. One of them has the racers landing on an ice bridge. It don't look too stable though, now does it? Hope it is not the cause of undue tragedy. Then, it's on down through the corkscrew, which should make for some mighty fine drifting, if you're into that kind of thing. Cause if you ain't a good at drifting, why you sure as heck better be good at crashing. Woo, I do loves me a good crash. Getting to see a whole bunch of crashes will even make it worth standing around in this powerful cold. <laughs> now if I could only feel my fingers. The final challenge is to make it past a parcel of angry necro -phrygians. Don't know what they so mad about. I know, I know, pick me. Uh, boy. Yes. On account of they was a trying to read all peace and quiet like until all these race carts started a roaring past right outside their windows. I will accept your conjecture, boy, though I do doubt its validity. 
Well, then it's through the ruins of the city and straight up the mountain of the finish line. Boyd, you can put your hand down now. I can't, Octagon. It's frozen up there. B -b but you just go ahead and c -c -c call on me for something else anytime you want to again. I'll be, 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 be ready. Uh. Three, two, one. Looks like somebody down found himself a shortcut. Alright! He has, as you might say, overtaken the competition. in short Using that there shortcut, it's what's commonly referred to as short. That ultimate humongousaur is what you might call, get ready for it, diminutively challenged. And his attack is all charged up too. Alright! If I had a dollar for every time that ahead. happened to one of us. was exceedingly break upable. They's gonna have to go through the cave. All right. Now that there was exceedingly nasty. plus ultimate power might be construed by some as what you call overconfidence. Time if you attack me now. All 
right. The null void insanity is showcaseified here on the track we like to call the Guardian Gauntlet. Tell him about it, Boyd. I'd be happy to, Octagon. Right at the beginning, there's this loopy corkscrewy thingy that gets folks all turned about. And then there's a couple of jumps that's pretty okay, even the big old one that makes you feel like you're never coming down again. If we's lucky, some of them might not. But then, them null guardians show up. And if you ain't a good driver, you're just fixing to get blowed up real good by them fellers. One can only dare to dream of such an entertaining happenstance. The rest of the course is a shortcut as well as some straightaways. But folks got to go around three whole times. I sure is glad we're just announcifying and not racing. I do like watching carts crash and get blowed up, but we've been blowed up too many times ourselves, and it ain't as pleasant an experience as one might think. Three, two, one, go! All right! Somebody knew's a late in the pack. Oh, in your face! This track is fully charged. I reckon the field will be what you might call blown away in short order. Charged and ready. It is highly likely that it will be what you call That means smelly. Got to send you later. 
Watch it, watch it! This is it, folks. The circuit that separates the aliens from the... other aliens. The Big Show. The top prize. The Peace de Resistance. That, too. We's talking about Primus Dominus, folks. And first up is the track what puts all other Vulpin tracks to shame. The Sludge Way. Starting out, the racers do what has been nominally referred to as a crisscross in midair, and then blast on through one of the two curves before joining up again on the other side. This track is a sludge tank tour de force, and some of them serpents got into one of them, just to make things more complicated. Some of them is drained though, and them serpents prefers they sludge. Right you are, Boyd. But though you can remove the sludge, you cannot remove the olfactory component to my personal satisfaction. You can't get rid of that smell neither. But folks can avoid the last tank with some precision driving. Hit that trigger and y'all can skip right on past and take the fast way back to the start. Also, it bears mentioning that we did receive notice that part of the structure here has been condemned and is henceforth unsafe for racing. But as we only received said notice a few decades ago, we'll just keep that little bit of info to ourselves, shall we? So, let's get to it then! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Somebody news in front. He done blowed him away real good. I can lead for speed. Boy, I do surmise that's gonna leave a mark. He is cutting a lap short, using what is known in the nomenclature as a shortcut. All right. Later. Seems first place does smile occasionally on the speedy of cart. Woo! 
We gotta make our vehicle do that, Octagon. All right. Bell Gax is one feller you don't want to cross, especially when his powers are charged, which they are at this particular juncture. There's one convenient shortcut, ain't it, Octagon? Woo, doggy! Somebody just went ultimate! Chances of a fella named Fast Track being able to run so darn fast. I, for I'm one, am perplexed. That means you can't hit me. Ultimate Echo Echo. Not my best. The racing on Pisces all comes down to this. An aqueous and licentious, or what you might call wet and wild track, called Whirlpool Core, that dives down right to the very center of the planet, to what is colloquially referred to as... The Core. Boy, you don't catch me always derailing your train of thought, now do you? Well, now, that would take some doing, Octagon, as my thought train tends to remain at the station. Point well taken. This here's a big track with a plethora of challenges, but the main attraction is the aforementioned Whirlpool Core. The racers will dive straight down it, with the water spinning away outside. After that, it's on to the filtration agitators and out through the waterfall area. After which, they drive right past the gravity core machinery, what keeps all the water here on Pisces from splashing clear off the world and out into the galaxy. Finally, it's a dizzy fine spin around a crazy spiraling road that takes folks all around the whirlpool again and back topside, where a big boost sends them flying towards the finish. Pretty cool, huh, boy? Woo! My head's a spinning just thinking about all them crashes, what might have happened. Of course, your head spins just thinking. Period. Now, I would refudiate that, excepting it's true, but that don't make this track any less cool. Let's get to racing! Three, two, one, go! Oh, all right! Hey! Slow down! Out of my way, little man! Not so fast! 
We gotta make our vehicle do that, Octagon! I reckon the field will be what you might call blown away in short order. All right. Oh, all right. I'm intangible. That means you can't hit me. Folks might be wanting to take some precautionary measures right about now on account of someone done switched on their ultimate power. That's what these here cart races need, Octagon. More stuff blowing up real good. Ow! Look out! Ultimate aliens are coming through! Feller is a looking ready to do some quadruple damage. Watch it, watch it, head. Watch it, watch it, head. Ultimate activate. Ain't nothing standing in his way now, I reckon. Now that there was exceedingly nasty. Ah, watch! Get in! Try! I'll just shake off your attacks. Yahoo! To air is human! Ben is a going what you might. Not my best. This here Havoc Highway track looks like the biggest, most card explodingest null void track of them all. When you're right, you're right, boy. Right off the bat, there's a big old jump, but there's a twist. Literally. More of a spin, really, but point taken. The main track climbs over that there suspicious looking asteroid. But hit that trigger, and the asteroid starts a spinning against traffic. 
Handy for slowing down the competition. After a quick twist and jump, the racers land right in the middle of a null void prison yard with some nasty inmates who just won't take get out of my way for an answer. Next, it's around that penal colony. Too bad there's no way to cut through the mines underneath. That'd save some time. That would be expedient, yes. Woo! This is my favorite part. Tell him about the fire, guys! I was just getting to that. The track cuts right through the Havoc Beast stomping grounds, and they don't take kind of the carts buzzing through. Last but not least, they got to jump clean through a hollow rock and drive through the spinning asteroid disks before they gets to the finish. I hear tell they some strange things living in some of these asteroids, Octagon. Mayhaps, but I suspect we should just leave that potential eventuality as a surprise, don't you? On account of when a driver's surprised. He might go and get himself blowed up real good. <laughs> I likes the way you think, Octagon. This one's gonna be a hoot. Three, two, one, go! All right! Exciting! <laughs> right on! Hey! Somebody's taking the short way right so That ultimate Echo Echo feller is probably a fiction to be ready to make that noise again, again. I feel the need for speed. Fast track is fully charged. I reckon the field will be what you might call blown away in short order. Not trust that there Kevin left, and them other racers ain't gonna need her now that he's all charged up and such. It would appear someone new is in the lead. If you ain't the leader, the view never changes. You damn fuck their guts. Tennyson is all charged up. Wonder what configuration will transpire when he attacks this time. <laughs> Going for a spin. To 
Good idea using that shortcut, eh, boy? Ah! Asteroids. That thing done smashed away part of the track. Someone just lost their lead. Such is the fleeting nature of all things. Get back here! That's what these here cart races need, Octagon. More stuff blowing up real good. Now, Boyd, I know how you likes it when things blow up real good. Oh, I do, Octagon. I really do. Well, I estimate you're in for a real treat this time, cause this race is an Azmuth's Forge. And it would appear that this here volcano is ready to blow. I shall attempt to contain myself for the duration of your commentary. The start of this race is located right in the epicenter of said volcanic formation. It's this exit road that looks like the most likely place for what you might call a track-changing eruption. On the third lap, I expect, based on the volcano's current seismic activity. But for now, said road winds safely down the mountain. Note that the road does jump under a codon cascade and into the depths of the grottoes below. Then it's through the codon tubes and yon pumping station until folks finally slalom their way back to the surface. How's that grab you, boy? I ain't never been so ready for something to blow up real good this much before in my life, or any of my clones lives. Let's get this party started! That we shall. Three, two, one, go! All right! He has, as you might say, overtaken the competition. Somebody news in front. He done blowed him away real good.
We gotta make our vehicle do that, Octagon. Oh, all right! We have a new leader. First place is indeed something one does aspire to in a race. Give it a rest, will ya? Get hit! Try! I'll just shake off your attack. Fast Track is plumb powered up! Now, what are the chances of a fella named Fast Track being able to run so darn fast? Just I like I can't try! 55! Now that there was exceedingly nasty. I like it. I need more speed. Whoa, right! Woo -wee. Did you see that, boy? That there volcano done blowed out a big old chunk of track real good. Take them home, I see roads. Big chills done charged right. and ready. Woo! Fast track is fully charged. I reckon the field will be what you might call blown away in short order. You're wasting your time if you attack me now. Hot dang! I do love it when somebody uses that ultimate on me. Watch this. Folks might just be back. people doing? A go-kart race? On Primus? Oh, you're jeopardizing the secret of the Ultra Matrix for a joyride? Oh, now I'll have to move the planet. Again. Don't look! Oh. 